So here I have my 12 inch by 12 inch piece of plywood and you can see that and I really like this particular thickness because it's really light um, which is going to be easy to handle when we're working with it and also easy to put up on your wall. Alright so we're going to go ahead and start sanding and I got my sander here and I love this little guy. I actually got this off Amazon because my original one broke and it's got these round sanding pads which you can also get from like Home Depot or Lowe's so let's start with that. So now that we're done sanding our wood, we are going to paint it and we want to do a base color. And I just have uh, black acrylic paint. I really like it. I like the way it um, paints on. It's always very thick and also it sands off really well. So we're going to do that. And then I have a little sponge brush and so we're just going to paint that on and make sure you get your sides as well. a ton of red paint and this is basically what I have in my stuff and we're just gonna start pouring it on and making a color that we like and I kind of want to go for like a dark color dark red all right and another tip in this situation this works I actually left uh, the black paint on my brush and the reason for that is it adds the black to the red then. So next step, our wood board is dry and we're going to start dry brushing. And what you want to do is take a brush that's dry, go figure, and you are going to put it right into your paint show you here. So I have my little paint mess over here. Okay. And then you can just dab it. Now I have this this nice tarp to work on. But you want to wipe most of it off actually. Okay. Bring this up here so you guys can see. And then you're just going to brush it on the edges like this. You run out, get a little bit more. Keep dry brushing the edges of your sign until you've gone entirely around it. And it should look something like this when you're done. So next step, we're going to take this burlap fabric and just cut it into three squares for our three signs. So I've made something like it, this in the past, Hope, Faith, and Love, and I wasn't able to find the exact font, and I really like this one for this project. So I went ahead, I took a picture of those, and then I loaded it into Microsoft Word and then I just printed it out and cut them out and I'm just going to trace them now and you can see our burlap obviously it's not very pretty it's not square it's not anything and I want to trace these out first before I um, edge the burlap and make that straight in, in case my letters may be a little crooked or whatever I can play with it a little bit at the end so we'll go ahead and do that And now we're going to do the same thing with faith and love. These are all drawn on in marker. And now we are going to start painting them. And I am just using a simple black acrylic paint. And then I have a simple paintbrush. 
and we are just going to paint inside these letters black just so that's a little more vibrant. Next step, we are going to Mod Podge onto the signs. And then you just need a simple foam brush, and this is the one I used the other day. It is dry now, and we are just going to Mod Podge this on. And this does dry clear so even though it looks a little bit milky white right now it will dry clear and I'll show you that as soon as it's all dry and make sure you get your edges as well okay so these are nice and dry and now we are going to cut out the square so it fits properly on our sign So next we are going to use these. These are decorative nails and these are in the antique bronze colors. Here. This is what they look like up close. We got the rounded head also called upholstery nails and you can find this at Joanne Fabrics or probably your local craft store um, and this was actually by the fabric because obviously upholstery nails so that's where they have them hiding in the store. Okay, and we are going to do the plier trick, which is you just put it in the plier to hammer it so you don't have to damage your fingers. We're going to put it right in the corner. Okay. And after that, this looks good. You could leave it like this. But we are going to add a little extra detail and we're going to pull some of these strings of the burlap off. There we go to fringe the edges a teeny bit. one okay so we have our sign here all dry ready to put a background got my picture hanging toolbox here this is crazy I want to show you guys this there's so much picture hanging stuff I have right crazy but um we're actually gonna go through this little mess today <clears throat> and use these little guys because they're little signs so we don't really need anything too too big to hold them up. I would put it in the pliers. It makes it easier to hold on to. Haha, <laughs> we should probably make sure that's pointing the right way, right? Just in case. That would be bad. How many of you guys have ever done that before? I have. Now we're going to put in this other side. And that one is done. Well, what do you guys think? Front, back, got our little picture hanger on there. Now we're going to grab our next one and do the same thing. Alright, well we're all done. What do you guys think? Do you guys love it? If you do, give me a thumbs up. And also don't forget to subscribe so you can stay tuned for all the other cool crafty projects we're working on and then also check the info bar for some additional information I got hidden down there and uh, yeah thanks for watching information thanks for watching